Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. On the last episode, we got back to Nibelheim and found out the damn thing doesn't appear to be nearly as burnt down as Cloud remembers it. Also, no one remembers me living here. Also, there's a bunch of weird, mysterious, hooded figures that keep on talking about reuniting with Sethiroth. Also, we found Sethiroth in the mansion. Also, we woke one Vincent Valentine, who is a firm, former member of the Turks, just like Reno Rude and uh, uh, that blonde girl whose name I forget. Uh, but he's decided to join us. He knows something about Sethiroth's past. That's the only reason he, once we mentioned we knew Sethiroth, that's when he decided to join us. He had took a little convincing. But Sethiroth has run into the mountains and has challenged me to meet him. And I shall. In bitter combat, assuming. Then I just need to fight the man who can one-shot gigantic dragons. And can apparently fly. And summon weird tattoo guys into his entourage. Uh, I was hoping to get my limit breaks up with a few of the other characters, and I, I did a little bit of training. I don't really want to level, so the best way to do it would be to go all the way back to the beginning area and just kill enemies there. Because it's based on how many enemies you kill, not how powerful your enemies are. But I didn't want to walk all the way back there, I just needed to record this. I, I'm basically right now just taking a break. I'm, uh, hmm. That's as good a time to show this as anyway. Vincent Valentine is a completely unique character due to his limit breaks. Where he turns into different monsters. Berserk Dance! <laughs> Doing double damage than what he did before. So... I don't know. Oh yeah, I... Like, basically... I, I mentioned this on the podcast, and I don't know how many people have listened to it. And if you guys haven't listened to the podcast, you know... It, podcasts aren't everyone's thing, but... It's me and Companion and then a guest. We started it with Relic Die, but he, uh... He wanted to free up his time to do other things, and so now we have random guests on there. But, um, yeah, I mentioned that I got a graphic design job, which I'm assuming is over by the time this is released, because I have, I've backed, like, two episodes before this. I would have backed, like, like, four or five, but I got that graphic design thing. And it's just a temp job, but just, like, it... Graphic design is a lot more mentally stressing than playing video games and talking over them, <laughs> let's just say that. And my sleeping, I, like, I made, a, I made great progress, but, like, I sent the first draft, and the person just gave me, like... I don't know, I should probably get a number from him, because I need to talk to him, because it's like... It's hard to, um... Ooh. It's hard to, uh, convey and understand abstract comments over text, especially for me. Like, I, I had, like, this, uh, brown and black theme, and he said that, like... The, the, the black and gold look too extreme, and I don't know what that means. Or too radical. And the thing is, it's for this, like, African-American history festival. So does, like, does black and gold mean something? Is that, is, is, like, I was thinking about doing red and black, and then even at my mind was just like, hmm, what if that reminds people of Nazis? <laughs> Which I think is overthinking it personally, but maybe, maybe not, I don't know. People do make these subconscious associations, and then I had things in a straight line, and that one was, straight lines were also radical? I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that means. So, I don't necessarily need to know what that means, I just need to know that for whatever reason that didn't work, and now I need to try something else. But it's just... I don't know, It's just weird communicating to people through email to try to convey abstract comment, co like concepts like that. It's just confusing. So, I don't know, I'm a little bit stressed out about it, but I, I am very glad to be designing something again, because it's been so long. And I can't just design, like, fake projects. Like, I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about making a bunch of fake posters and and fake projects, and I just, I just can't do it. I just can't, like, it just doesn't feel right or real. So, I don't know, anyway, I don't know how long I just talked about that, but I had, uh... It, it, it's just stressing, it's just a stressing thing. I don't think it'd be, be too bad if I could meet people in person, because all of my linguistic prowess flies right out the window when I have to type. It just... It, it takes me a long time to type anything. Yeah. Damn it, Cloud is getting all the kills. Whether Tifa gets her new limit break anytime soon is based on how many people she personally kills. But Cloud has like twice the attack power, sir, so he keeps on getting it. There we go. All of Vincent's limit breaks are also dependent on how many people he kills. Like, it normally goes you have to use a limit break a certain amount of times, then you get the second one, and then you have to kill a bunch of people. But, uh, Vincent, 
is completely different. His is he he only has one limit break per slot. So he has one for two, one for three, and then one for four, which is his ultimate. So Yeah, it just it just matters when he kills people. So uh, but Cloud Cloud is already ahead, damn it. But what I guess it's okay when he kills things, because he's gonna he's gonna get his more powerful limit breaks, and he does have the most powerful limit breaks in the game, but meh. I want I want even distribution here. Or at least more even. Going up the thing. That is like the least safe like can you imagine walking up that crab? Oh. Like it's a rope bridge, it's not like stairs. If it was stairs, it's fine, but good god, the thing would be swaying back and forth. Ugh. Now I think I know where I need to go, but I also know that if you don't go where you're supposed to go, there are treasure chests. So, like, let me let me duck in here to see what's over here. That's where I'm pretty sure I need to go. <coughs> but I could be wrong. Oh, well, I'm not going to be whisked away to, like, nowhere if I go the... Like, I'm pretty sure I can come back here and get the treasure chest. Because there's, there's weapons and stuff. I explored. <laughs> I'd explore so I'd kind of know where to go, but the thing is, if you explore without seeing Sether up, you don't know where he is, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, what are the hell are these things? Oh, these things stop you! I really don't need that. Oh, don't use it. Alright, good. She got to attack first. Hopefully she'll attack the same person twice and kill them, but I doubt it. Ah! She attacked the same person twice and killed them. And that's impressive. <laughs> and now they do it! Well, the whole party is frozen. So now we get to play the waiting game. Absorb. Ah... Uh... All right. Now there was actually an enemy skill that I can learn in Shinra Mansion, and I I was uh, like training to get the limit breaks in there, but I never found the enemy that does it. It's basically this gigantic anvil that drops in your head. It's weird, and the damage that you do is based on the amount of damage that you've already taken. So that could actually end up being a really powerful skill later on, but I was never able to find them. So hopefully someone else has that skill because it seems like the encounter rate of that one enemy is ridiculously low. Remember this place? the place where Sethiroth found out the truth about himself. Pretty good place for the reunification, since I think Genova's here also. Or at the very least, beings infused the Genova? I'm a little bit confused, I don't know. The translation for this game is alright, but... It's not as bad as Xenogears, but I still feel like something is lost a lot of the time. Like the essence of what they actually mean. Okay, this was not where I was supposed to go. Sethiroth really isn't here. Oh well, I figured I had to check just to get... And where... I saw a... I saw a save point down over there. That's probably where I was supposed to go. But I know there's treasure chests over here, so I'm going over here. But yeah, I don't know if I should really talk about the particulars of a project like that, but... I guess I'm playing the odds that, like... I don't know, there's nothing... I haven't said anything, like, specific or, like, where the project is, I guess, but, like, yeah. Maybe, like, I don't know. I'm not complaining, I'm just... It's very hard for people to communicate with each other. I don't know. And there's these weird, like, abstract things in graphic design that people don't understand. Like, yeah, apparently, I mean, he, he saw it as black and gold, and that spoke radical to him. Like, just the associations we meet, like, it's an arbitrary association. It's just something that I don't understand. Uh, that's probably... I should probably just ask a direct question about that, shouldn't I? I don't know. Whatever. I've already, I've already, like, well... I, I've already started plans for just a complete redesign anyway, but whatever. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Graphic design is hard. Uh, and basically, besides, like, just, like, creativity and artistic skill, I, I just need to learn, like, technical skills. Because, like, the more technical skill you have in your arsenal as a graphic designer, just the more stuff you'll be able to do, and I feel like my arsenal is waning. I feel like I'm using muskets. I need, uh... I don't know... Laser gun... Well, alright, that's greedy. I don't quite need a laser guns. Oh my god, flamethrower. Wait. One of us has an enemy skill materia that has all the skills of the other enemy skill material, except for flamethrower. So I would love... Oh gee, oh, oh, oh god. Oh, oh my. Um... I would love to get him to breathe flame on the person who doesn't have it, but I don't know which one that is. I wonder if he's manipulatable. I should test that. 
By the way, these are the gigantic dragons that Sethiroff was able to kill in one head. Gonna take me a few more than one heads. That was a pretty good hit, though. And got their flamethrower. And he used it on the same person again, who clearly was not the person that I needed him to use it on. Cause he's a jerkwad. Here. Magic. No, don't hit Vincent. Don't hit- uh, uh, wait, Vincent is still alive, bitches! Gallant Beast! He has three HP left, and I used heal on the wrong person. Well, that's just great. That doesn't say Gallant, it's like, Gallian. Oh, cool. He healed himself to full. Beast Flare! Oh, good! Now here's one of the problems with Vincent, and I'm actually glad that happened so I can display the problem with Vincent. I have no control over him. When he's in beast mode, he just attacks. If he uses an elemental attack that a boss is strong to, the only way to stop him is to murder him. So, that's, of course, not desirable at all. It's just one of the quirks of the character, though. Flamethrower. Again on Vincent. This guy's a dick. He knows. He doesn't want me to have the power of the flamethrower again. Alright, how... This guy's like a... Oh, he's gonna use Beast Flare again. Good job! I should probably murder you, Vincent. You're gonna prolong this indefinitely at this raid. Let's try Earth on him. Uh, I, I don't understand why he insists on using that exact same attack on the same person every single time. He has only used flamethrower on Vincent. Yeah, unless he's scripted to always attack the person in the middle, but that'd be weird. And I don't think it's all that likely. Alright, are you- Oh my god! Well, I'm no longer going to be healing Vincent. He needs to die. This battle would have been over already if it wasn't for his crap, probably. Let me see here. Oh yeah! Yeah, he's healed him three times. Yeah, the battle would have been over already. Oh look! He used it on someone else. That was fancy. Alright, I got it! Now both of the, uh, materials are the same. Or both of the- yeah, the materials. It's a special materia, though. Man, Sethiroff would just be like, bloop. And he'd be like, get! Alright, enough with your flame- Wait, maybe- he is weak again- oh my god, that's it. Kill Vincent. KILL VINCENT! I attack- I cloud attacked himself. We're gonna lose because Vincent's a moron. That's what's gonna happen. Oh my god. Because I can't, I can't deal with him constantly healing for 800. <laughs> like, that's a big deal. Alright, hopefully this will do. I just cut out a few seconds. Well, I had a small coughing fit. But this has got to finish it, right? Right? The fact that I need to stop to heal constantly really isn't helping either. Holy crap, are you freaking kidding me? So he's immune to fire, I guess that makes sense. I should have known, really. Oh my god. Thanks, Vincent. Thanks, no thanks. I'm fighting two monsters here! You know, maybe Vincent is goddamn awful and terrible and not worth it, and I just didn't remember. That's possible. It's very possible. I'm working under the new theory that Vincent sucks and I should never use him either. Like, ever, ever, ever. I should only use his limit breaks on battles that don't matter. Oh my god. Hey Vincent, you mind like not healing him after I hit this? Because if you don't, I think we can kill him. If you do, we might get game over. Which would be really goddamn sad. Oh no, that killed him outright. Vincent, you're terrible. You're a terrible person and I want to put you back in your stupid coffin. For God's sakes. At least I was able to display the problem with Vincent early. Because <laughs> I seem to remember getting into an infinite, like, boss battle once. It was just like, the boss battle would not end. I, I couldn't do anything. And it was because Vincent just kept on healing the boss. And eventually, yeah, I had to murder him. I had to actually... And it I think I won. I don't remember the outcome. But it just took so goddamn long. And man, do I need ethers. I need to buy, like, a... Fat stack of ethers. Also need that treasure chest, that's why I came here. It's gotta be had to slip through somehow. Hmm. No dragons. If there's a dragon, I'm running the hell away. 
All right, it's just these yokels. Oh, she did it. Tifa now has a new limit. That is great. She finally killed enough people. <laughs> Good for you, girl. You finally killed enough people. All right, so I'm going to set her to limit level two. And she shall now damage an opponent. <laughs> of course, they all say attack an opponent, I believe. Um, water kick, however, is one of the most controversial moves. And by controversial, I mean kind of stupid and makes no sense. I guess you'll see when it happens. Sniper RC. That sounds like a Vincent thing. It is! Oh, yeah. Oh, God, it gives a new ult slot. That's really cool. Also, it increases his attack by... Uh, that's ridiculous. I guess that's why it's called a sniper. <laughs> I think that's maximum. Like, basically, whether you hit someone is a roll against your hit to their evade. Uh, you If you have a 100% chance when that is done, you'll never miss. So... Like... Ah, uh, uh, let me just kill this guy. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna talk when he's alive. <laughs> On second thought, I decided to run away. Um, apparently, Vincent has the derpiest run animation that has ever been conceived in a video game. Did you see that crap? That made no goddamn sense. Alright, whatever. I'm actually going to use a Turbo Ether because it's ridiculous. I need someone to play uh, White Mage. But what the hell was I saying? <laughs> oh, that was actually the best running animation ever. I should probably correct what I said. Okay. So... Since he has a 255% chance of hitting, like, he's never gonna miss. No one has an evade of 100, to my knowledge. Uh, let's say he takes minuses. I don't think there's ever a minus of more than, like, 50%. So, Vincent will always hit his attacks, and I think I've reached a dead end. So, actually, the only reason to come down here is for that sniper rifle. And based on that accuracy, it might be worth it. I could actually... Now, here's the other, like... Vincent's, uh, as you said, his limit break is kind of dumb. What if it was good? Like, pretty much every other person in the game, besides arguably Kate Sif's ultimate. I could put Fury on him, and since the only problem with Fury is that you miss more often, I'm pretty sure there would be no penalty because he's not ever going to miss. It's like a sniper rifle pistol. It's weird, isn't it? That thing is huge! How are you going to holster that? It's going to be banging up against your leg. Should put it like in a back strap. Yeah, there's nothing else there. But that weapon was probably worth it. Maybe I should berserk him anyway. Yeah, whatever. Let's go to where I'm supposed to go. I know I found more treasure chests. I just don't know where they are. Oh yeah, um, the other person has weird limit breaks. Everyone works the same except for two characters. That's Vincent and Kate Sith. Kate Sith has literally two limit breaks in the game. He has no ultimate, and the reason for that is that his final limit break, which is his second one, is ridiculous. Like, it starts this little slot minigame. I know, I probably explained this, but I don't know if I explained how ridiculous it is. It starts a slot minigame, depending on what the slots land on, uh, an attack will happen. The attack, however, can also be bad. I think there's a few ones that do nothing, because it slots. Sometimes you don't win anything. And it actually has the most powerful attack in the game in it. Because it can instantly kill anything, including the final boss, including the optional bosses that are like a hundred times more powerful than the final boss. It'll just kill them. There is a 1 in 1,000 chance of that happening. In addition, there is another attack that has a 1 in 1,000 chance of killing your entire party. All over, just it's an instant game over every single time you use it. There is no way to prevent it, including instant uh, like death-preventing rings. I really want that treasure chest, and don't know how to get it, but I'm gonna slot myself over... Holy crap, that's a boss, I'm glad I didn't slam into him. <laughs> I almost slammed right into him. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, let's just use a tent here. That's a tranquilizer. Tent. And save it. Now my instincts say, do not fight the boss with Vincent Valentine. But my heart says, screw it, baby, he's in my damn party, and I'm not pinch hitting. And my heart is, of course, wrong. But we're gonna listen to it anyway. Smash. There we go. <laughs> it's like, you're gonna fight me enough, baby. 
Alright, here's where we find out if I screw up, because I'm just going to limit right away and find out. We'll see if that... if he's immune to the elements. Alright, three wheels. Alright, I did it! Zerk dance! That's good enough. Beat rush! Somersault! Water kick! Okay, water kick is not the dumb one. The dumb one may involve... Uh, the clowns of the sea. Alright, here's the moment of truth. Do I need to kill you or not? Oh! Alright! Um, this is probably the battle I remember. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I, the first time I got Vincent Valentine, decided to try him out against the boss. Repeatedly screwed me. Yeah, that seems likely. That seems likely. Hey, Vincent! Do you remember that time that we had to put you down? I think it was, uh, right now. I can't. I can't. You know what? Screw it! I'm actually gonna... I, I just saved. I'm gonna reset. I can't deal with this crap. I'm done. <clears throat> okay, who are we taking instead? I, I just can't. Vincent, you're a screw-up. You're a damn screw-up. Uh, we're taking Yuffie. He was in Fury Mode and just got her new Limit Break, and we want to test that out. Alright. Let's just equip her. Alright, she's good. Oh god, phones. Yeah, it's just my mom with Thanksgiving plans, so that should be fun. Alright. I think I've equipped Yuffie. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try this here. This time without jerks healing the boss. Stupid Vincent. Yeah, screw Vincent! I hate him! I hate him more than Kate Sith right now, I can't believe- You know, also, game developers, you guys are dicks. Because they knew that people would be using him right after they got him here, if they could. And then they made a boss that's immune to his first limit break? Like, come on! Oh. <laughs> I screwed that up. And Yuffie's in fury mode. She's gonna be going, uh, she's gonna be going berserk a lot, me thinks. And I'm totally okay with that. Judgment Bolt! I should probably sense this dude so I can get a running tab on his life, too. Now, Yuffie could use an HP+, plus, I gotta say. And I'm still kicking myself for, uh, acing that Shinra performance and not getting the... not AP, the uh, HP plus thing earlier. I wonder what he's weak against. Doesn't... if I sense him, will it tell me? Might. Oh, he's immune to fire. Okay. Gotcha. Is he... Alright, Materia Keeper. No weaknesses, but immune to fire. Alright. Is he weak against ice? What if he's just immune to... No, he can't be immune to elemental damage, because I just did something to him. But, hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. Alright, it's just... It's just one element. Good. I wanted to try something. Clear Tranquil. According to the description, gives me back HP. Let's see here. Alright, that works. Very good, Yuffie. Much better than someone who heals the boss. Instead, you're someone who steals from the boss. Look at that! She's gonna be able to use her limit break every five seconds. Nothing to steal. You usually can't steal from bosses, can you? It doesn't stop me from trying, but sometimes you can. Also, this staff is dumb, and I'm going to throw it. <laughs> it's for Eris, and it is not useful. Err! <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> uh, shaboom! Limit break! <laughs> Clear Tranquil! I don't even need to use MP for this. And I better not use Beta, because that will heal him for a lot. Probably weak against Earth, though. I think that Beast Flare... No, it's called Beast Flare. Flare, isn't it? It probably is a fire attack. I was gonna say maybe it was like a tri-elemental attack. But alright. We got this. Demi's not gonna work in all likelihood. Quake should work. Whatever. I'm just gonna beat him to death. You scared, bro? Probably not. Boom! Yeah, decent. Decent damage. Alright, he's down past half. Yeah. 
I just, I, I just can't. I can't get over the way the design led. Just have a boss that's completely powerful and that's a new character they do. Usually they do the opposite, like they encourage you to use a new character in a new area where you get them by giving you something that's like, if you use this character, now you have an advantage in this way. Instead they just did the exact opposite. I don't get it! Alright, Cloud is gonna tear this jerkwad up. Oh, yeah. He's on the ropes now. I know he is. Is he curing himself? What a jerk. How dare you? I would have had him. Now I gotta hit him like five more times. It's probably enough for him to walk over and kill someone. Uh-oh. Um. That could do damage. Oh, my God. Learned enemy skill giant. Sweet. What are you at? Because he could kill me. Alright, good. Well, Tifa died, but... Two of us just learned an enemy skill, so that's great. Oh, that's excellent. Alright. Well, I'm glad you didn't kill him before I used that. That would have sucked. Gem ring. And a materia. Counter materia. That is going on Cloud so hard. Actually, should go on someone who I actually want to get more kills, should it? I mean, if I want to do the most damage, it should go on Cloud, but... Alright, moving on. You know, storyline-wise, I really do want to bring Vincent, though. Uh Fine. But I just hate... I hate his damn limit break. I hate it to the freaking core of my being. Whoa, what are you gonna... We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything will be fine. We're gonna tear up some Setharisu. Setharinos. Now, what is that skill that I just learned? Let's see. Shrine. Lightning damage on all opponents. Okay. It was not a tri elemental attack, it was just lightning damage. Because lightning comes in triangles. With Kate Sif, by the way, to get his final limit break, which is his second limit break. You only need to kill 40 enemies, and then he's done. <laughs> There's no more training of limits with him. Which will give me an excuse to not use him as much. Oh. I'm on the other side. Somehow I thought I would run into Sethiroff over there. Well, apparently not. Alright. Um. Mirror. Is there any... Where, where am I going? And my buggy's over there now. Ah. Uh. They said, alright, he said north past Mount Nebel, that makes sense. He didn't say that he was in Mount Nebel, I think. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember much. I certainly don't remember that. You trying? Oh, well that was a waste. There's only one of them. And then he killed them. Oh my god, he killed them with a the jackpot. Use the lucky sevens. I should get some type of reward. What are these things? Why don't you tell me what those are? Why don't you tell me what those are? Why don't uh <coughs> whatever. Wee beep wee beep wee. Turn 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 turn. Alright, turn turn turn. Alright. Nary a uh, a buggy to go I don't know how I take is there a way to summon the buggy? Hmm. Oh well, I certainly hit all of the buttons. Nope, no way to summon the buggy. I guess I just gotta walk. It's a it's a place. It's a place that I should go uh, uh like uh, push okay. My poor brain on too much computering. What's that? Oh my god, I totally know where I am. Wow. I didn't realize this happened so fast. Oh my. A rusty old rocket. I wonder why they make something so huge. Yeah, it was a space rocket. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. Did you see a man in a black cape? A man in a black cape? <laughs> nope, never seen him. Who's the captain? The captain was the pilot when Shinra was interested in the space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, 
But then there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away dreaming about going into outer space. Yep, I was about to say this is like the first uh, Final Fantasy with the space program, but I think you go to the moon in Final Fantasy IV, even though it took place in like medieval times. Ooh, a shotgun! <laughs> a mother effing shotgun! Well, I'm not gonna buy that shotgun because uh, I worked hard getting that sniper rifle. <laughs> Now let me see here. Ooh! These are good items. Oh my. These are really good items. Um... That's for air. No, let me, let me... These are probably more important. Let's get five of them. That'll be enough to equip most of us. And then I'm gonna get... This. For Eris, I guess. I should decide who I want to use for the next party, because I've used Tisa a whole lot. There's a lot of antique guns. But the owner is a real gun fanatic. Well, you should meet Barrett, and then he might be able to interest you in chopping your own arm off. Yeah. He actually, in future um, incarnations of Final Fantasy, Barrett has a much cooler gun arm that actually is a hand, and it turns into a gun, which is way more futuristic than just grafting a gun onto your arm, but it's also a lot better, because then you still get to use your hand and you have a weapon. It's like, at that point, maybe in this world, even I would probably do that if, that, if the gun arms are that good. Hmm, is this real or fake? It's admiring the art, I suppose. <coughs> yeah, let's stay a spell. I think... Here's the thing. Hardly any story elements have happened, but I have a feeling that this episode has been going on for over half an hour at least. And I don't want to make them that much longer than that, so I'm sorry about that. Instead, the story was me complaining about graphic design. Or not so much complaining, but like... You know... Uh, yeah. It, it's just, There's just difficulties, and it's hard. And it's hard for me to interact with people sometimes, and... There's just so much to consider. And like, art is so subjective, and... Uh, it's hard to make associations. I don't know. I've just been thinking about all these things. So I had to, you know... Wh where else am I gonna talk about it? Yeah, I don't really know any other designers. Blar, because, you know... I'm the only one that stayed in the town where I went to college, and because I lived here beforehand. They all moved... And I didn't really make all that fr Like, I didn't really make too many friends in college, because... It's just who I am. I'm too solitary. It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. Well... I certainly wouldn't have known from looking at you. It's my job to take your delicious power sources. By the way, did you know that you have an item that can make you stronger for the rest of your life? Just sitting in your thick? What is... What? I'm sorry, I seriously... I, I'm confused. Wait a... I'm really confused. Um... Is that the thing for his ultimate limit, or is that like... I'm so confused, just... Uh, I got that a long time ago. Back in Cosmo Canyon. Can I use that now? Oh, I don't know what's happening. I'm conf I need to go right out there, get Taz, and use it. See if I can use it. If I can't use it, that means it's his ultimate limit. But that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Oh my god, what is going on? I don't get it. This is his ultimate! What the hell? Alright, I don't know how the hell I got that so early. Jeez. Alright, I think... I think the episode might be over. I'll explore... Well, let me explore the town a little bit more. I, I've been actually talking over the, the reading. But I need to make sure I don't meet the captain, because I know that's going to advance the story. This used to be a Shinra base where they launch rockets. You saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground, though. Well, that's not desirable. Check here. Yeah. If I see anything that looks like a captain, I have to run away. All right. What is wrong with you? He's having a conniption. Mm, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything to excite me? Did you know that this world is actually filled with deadly, deadly monsters and there's a guy that sells guns? I mean, that could be cool. Jeez, it's boring. Isn't there... Dude, there's a world filled with deadly monsters. What could be more exciting? Get a bunch of Pokeballs and catch a dragon. And then light your down on fire. And then the town mysteriously comes back, and we don't talk about that nearly as much as we should. 
Cause that crap was crazy. I like uh when things like that happen, I, I like I hope I would wish like the party would be like, um are they gonna discuss the fact that whatever you told us clearly isn't the case? Instead they're all just like, I don't know if we should talk about this drill arm, probably for buried. Oh crap, no! No, I think I've initiated something that I didn't want to. Um. Oh, this is the. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Brocco. This is cool. I wonder if we can borrow it. Um, may I help you? Yes. Next time. <laughs> I really shouldn't have gone in the back here. I guess that. I guess this actually was the uh, the captain's house. So. On the next episode, we'll hopefully meet this said captain and advance the story. And maybe fight aliens on the moon. I don't I don't remember what the story was in Final Fantasy IV. I never actually played through it because I got stuck in a student part and there weren't FAQs back then. I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>